Good day everybody, this is not going to be an in-depth video, but we are going to quickly reflect on it. We're going to do it in about 5 minutes or less because it is extremely hot indoors. Again, heatwave is trending here in the UK because it is ridiculously warm. So let's get to it. It's from Adam Aaron, and we've read this before. I think everybody has seen this tweet now, so we're not going to focus on it in grave detail. But just speaking about how Adam Aaron is going to pounce. He always keeps his word, he says and he said it will not happen before quarter two. Now in a future video, maybe in the next day or two, we're gonna be discussing what pounce could actually mean. But I wanna discuss quickly the concept of the end game for the mowers. The concept of where it all goes down, where it hits the fan for want of a better phrase. We're seeing now AMC fundamentally whether you think fundamentals are important or not, fundamentally the company is winning. Not been in a better place than what it is now for many years. Certainly for this past decade, as in the decade starting from 2020. And of course going back even from 2019, we've not really seen AMC see such success consecutively and continuously. So we're in a real winning scenario fundamentally. But I think we should remember, whilst the fundamentals are key, and that's why I do keep discussing them in many videos, this play is not really a fundamental play. It can be for some, and for some people it will be. But if you're like me, if you got into this in the year 2021, maybe even late 2020, or some point in between, you're probably here for the squeeze. And if that's the case, the fundamentals do matter. Because fundamental reasons are reasons for the price to go up. And a price increase is always a good thing for us. But what I'm trying to say here is when we're thinking about the concept of the end game, why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep putting dates on it, keep putting ideas on it? Now I've heard a lot of people, and I have discussed this in another video, a lot of people looking to the date of August the 4th, which I believe is when the next earnings are coming out. Everyone's saying that, that is going to be the next hype day, the next day that the MOAS is supposed to happen. And I love speaking about AMC. I love AMC. I hold AMC. I've been holding AMC for a long time. And I do, to an extent, a very small extent, get excited when I hear things like this. But it's also important to remember all of the big key dates when MOAS was going to happen, in quotation marks, in the past 12 to 18 months. And I'm not hating here, okay? You guys know if you've been watching the content for the channel for a long time, I do thoroughly believe in the concept of the MOAS. I think it probably will happen, and that's why I continue to hold my shares. But one thing that I am going to say is, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It might happen this year, it might even happen next year. It might happen next week, it might happen next month, it might happen tomorrow on Monday, any time in the future. You guys see what I'm trying to say. Putting dates on it is hindering to everybody because everybody then looks to that date. And I think a lot of people now are hardened to it, so don't get me wrong, I'm not speaking about everybody, but I think this is just a quick message which some people did need to hear. So it's not coming from a bearish standpoint, it's not coming from an anti moas or anything like that. It's just trying to say the end game is near but we don't know how close it is. What we do know is, it's always gonna happen when you least expect it. So I'm not saying get ready for anything. Can we be excited for the next week? Yes, we can. Should we be excited for earnings? Absolutely we should. They're going to look fantastic in my opinion. But should we look to it as a specific factor for the squeeze directly? No. That's my view on it, guys. I hope you guys did understand what I'm trying to say. If you do agree, of course, smash the like, subscribe and share, and this video is now out.